last class in bit plus i will discuss about definitions biology and the main branches of biology and then sub branches of biology and in sub branches of biology i will discuss about microbiology and uh, biochemistry cytology on these branches i will discuss in last class today i am discuss ecology ecology means or ecology deals with relation between organisms and their environment ecology deals with relation between organisms and their environment we know that in the environment two types of uh, mainly two types of living organisms are there they are plants and animals correct in environment mainly two types of organisms are there they are plants and animals see the plants and animals are the living organisms these living organisms are closely related to their environment 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 means abiotic factors so water light soil light so these abiotic factors are very important for the survival of the living organisms present in the nature so the living organisms are directly related to or interact with living organisms are always interact with the abiotic factors of the environment abiotic factors of the environment like so water soil then sunlight like this is called so ecology then ecology ug order ug order is considered as father of ecology and one more rondeo mission is considered as a father of indian ecology indian ecology see ecology This relation between relation between relation between organisms relation between organisms and then environment.
so now zygote will develop into completely develop into completely develop egg one this is called embryo so called unless one embryo is called as a part of embryo then so ecology and embryo then endocrinology next one endocrinology So, we 
typically thyroid, parathyroid, a set of lanterns, testes, and ovaries. Secretes different hormones. This endocrine glands secretes the different hormones. So these hormones can carry a message from one part to another. So endocrine glands are called ductless glands. They are called ductless glands. Endocrine glands are called ductless glands. Ducts are object. Ducts are object in the endocrine glands. The hormones, the hormones secreted in the gland, endocrine glands, directly entered into the bloodstream. Directly entered into the bloodstream. Here, see, endocrine glands are called ductless glands because ducts are object and hormones secreted from the endocrine glands are directly pouch or enter into the blood as well. Okay? This is about the endocrinology. Okay? Then one more as so endocrinology. So then so who is the father of endocrinology? So that term hormone. So who is the father of endocrinology? So, endo, follow, endo, crino, lunchy. Edward, Edward Brown, Edward Brown, Sikwa, Edward Brown, Sikwa, Edward Brown, Sikwa is considered as Father of endocrinology. Father of endocrinology. Father of endocrinology. Father of endocrinology. And the term hormone. The term hormone was coined by Ernest Storm. Ernest Storm. Ducts. 
endocrine glands possesses glands. See, enzyme of the the branch of science or branch of biology which deals with systematic their enzymes. The enzymes are secreted by exocrine glands. Exocrine glands possesses glands. Glands are present in the exocrine glands. The secretion, the enzymes are passed through the glands. So, because due to the presence of glands, the secretions or enzymes are passed through the glands. Okay. And then, enzymes. Example for exocrine glands. Example for exocrine glands. Spread glands. Example, spread glands. Then, sebaceous glands. Sebaceous glands. Then, salivary glands. Salivary glands. These are the example of exocrine glands. Spectrum glands, sebaceous glands, and cerebral glands. So these glands possess ducts, so the enzymes are passes to the glands. Okay. So, Bachino is considered as Bachino is considered as father of enzyme of Father of enzyme monocytes. Father of enzyme monocytes. Thus, so as considered as the father of enzyme monocytes. Here, enzyme monocytes. This is systematic step enzymes. So, exocrine glands secretes enzymes. They possesses glands, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, and salivary glands. For the best example for so, exocrine glands, but no, is considered as power of enzyme Okay. Next, evolution. 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 Evolution deals with systematic study of origin of life animals. Origin of life.
Systematic study of immune system in the food. Immunology deals with systematic study of immunity or resistance in the organs. Deals with resistance. Immunology deals with resistance of an organism. Resistance of an organism. Resistance of an organism against the infection. Against the infection is called immunology. Immunology, resistance or immunity of an organism against infection is called immunology. So, foreign bodies or antigens or pathogens enter into our body. During that time, in our body, immune system is generated or immunity or resistance will develop against the pathogens and fight against the pathogens and pathogens of destiny. So this is called resistance, immunity power, resistance will develop automatically in our body while the microorganisms are entered. This is called immunology, study of resistance. Against the resistance of an organism, against infection, as a type of infection, resistance or immunity will develop. This 
one we will know that. Very first, the concept of humanity or vaccine. Very first, the concept of vaccine was conceived by Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner. America. Very first, the concept of vaccines. Very first, the concept of vaccines or developed or conceived by Edward Jenner, and he invented the vaccine against. He invented vaccine against smallpox. Smallpox. He invented the vaccine against. Small. See, Edward Jenner, American doctor, very first he conceived the idea about vaccine and he invented the vaccine against smallpox. Okay. Then Louis Fasher, Louis Fasher. Discovered the vaccine for Louis Fashion. Louis Fashion. Louis Fashion. Louis Fashion. Discovered the vaccine for radis. Vaccine for radis. Then Anthrax, vaccines for anthrax, then vaccines for cholera, vaccines for cholera. And Louis Fanchel was considered as father of immunology. Louis Fanchel was considered as Louis Fanchel was considered as Father of immunology. Father of immunology. Father of immunology. Clear? Louis Fasher successfully invented the vaccine against Spanish anthrax for That's why he was considered as a father of immunology. Then Edward Jenner is considered as Edward Jenner was considered as father of vaccination. Father of vaccine. Because very first Edward Jenner invented vaccine against small. So very first Edward Jenner in America invented the vaccine against the smallpox. That's why he was considered as father of vaccination. But Louis Sasher discovered the vaccines in his rabies, cholera, and anthrax. That's why he was considered as father of immunology. This is a immunology. So, resistance of an organism against infection is called immunology. So, Edward Jenner, that was.